We are on an island in Mexico and we're going to talk about how to handle haters. I'm going to tell you a story of something that just happened and explain how to deal with a hater, how to deal with those situations. If you have a YouTube channel or an Instagram or any social media and you have people leaving hate comments or in real life if someone's hating on you, which is a lot more rare because people like to do it behind keyboards. But if you ever encounter that in a real situation or virtually, I want to talk about how to address it because not a lot of people know what to do. So I'm out, I'm with my friends, and we go to this like club thing, and we're dancing, whatever, you know, I don't even know how to dance, I just move around. And there's this girl, I'm not even trying to hit on this girl, I'm not hitting on anyone. I'm just dancing like an idiot, you know, like I always dance, like whatever. I'm just moving around, having a good time, and then his girl starts to look at me and say hi to me. I'm like, okay, hi, how's it going? Still dancing. And there's like a stripper pole, Maybe I'll go in there and record it and show you the stripper pole. There's like a stripper pole, right? I start climbing it with my arms. I'm climbing to the top and then I come down and then the girl's like smiling and kind of like impressed or whatever. And I'm, and I'm like joking like, yeah, 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 I climbed it. And then the boyfriend's like standing on the side saying, damn, you're so buff, bro. You climbed that rope, you're so jacked. And so instantly I could tell he's insecure. He's just trying to make fun of me and just trying to like control the conversation because his, his, him and his girlfriend was talking to me which I was not hitting on her, I was not trying to get her, making it clear. And he was trying to come in and take the frame. And how he would have won is if at that moment I had gone angry or went into his frame and said, oh, oh really? Or like just acknowledged him, I would have lost. But what did I do? I just laughed it off. And at first I wanted to be nice, right? So at first I'm like, maybe he's not hating, maybe he's joking. And I was like, oh no, you're buff. And I tried to like grab his arm and he was like, don't touch me. And he started to get confrontational, like he wanted to fight. And I'm like, okay, this guy's a real hater. So from that moment on, my brain shut him off. He did not exist to me. No attention. I kept dancing like I wanted. I kept having fun like I wanted. His girlfriend comes up to me, says, hi, my name's Alyssa, blah, blah, blah. Starts talking to me. I'm like, okay. And he's there angry, boiling. And I'm like, I I I'm not even looking at him. I'm sorry, I'm just being me. Start dancing again. I start doing crazy dance moves like an idiot. Like I start stretching my arms and like doing stuff and then he tries to copy me. He starts mocking me like, oh, I'm gonna dance like an idiot. I'm like, this ain't gonna work, dude. You don't know who you're messing with. I'm there having self-amusement. The key to anything in your entire life is self-amusement. Being happy with yourself and just having fun. So when you're having fun and you're entertaining yourself, who cares if someone thinks you're a loser or someone like makes fun of you? Who, who cares? You're having fun for yourself. No one else, just like anything else in life. You're out there, you're having a blast to entertain yourself and you're not worried about entertaining other people because the moment you worry, the moment for a split fraction of a second, if you worry about other people's opinions, if you try to impress others, you lost. That Now you look dumb. So I'm not even looking at any, I'm just having fun. And I start even throwing kicks, right? I'm like, start throwing kicks, right? I'm just like everywhere, right? I'm just spinning. I'm just, I start boxing, right? Doing some shadow boxing. And then I'm just like warming up, stretching my body, doing some shadow boxing for fun. This guy's thinking it's gonna be a fight. But how did I handle him? That's how I handled him. That's the moral of the story. I kept doing what I wanted. I kept living my life. If you have a YouTube channel, if you have an Instagram, someone comments, you loser. Like most people that comment on my videos, like 99% is amazing, great people. There's 1% that'll just try to say something negative or make fun of you, right? Ignore them. The best diss, the best response is ignore. It's that easy, literally ignore. Now there's rare situations where you can ignore it and you have to do something, but nine out of 10 times, you're probably better off just ignoring it. So you just keep doing your thing. You don't worry about the environment. You stay focused on you and whatever you're doing. You don't let the opinion of others impact you. Even in, in, in business, if you, if you want to be successful in business, you want to be a, an owner of a company, you have to be a boss. A boss doesn't go and ask the employees, hey, what do you think about me as your boss? Do you think I'm, uh, you think I'm like, uh, I look good today or something? The boss doesn't care. The boss is doing what the boss has to do. And then the employee just works. So you got to do what you have to do. So when someone leaves a hate comment, someone comes in and says, oh, you're a loser, don't even, don't even respond. Like I just don't even acknowledge it. Like, oh, okay, thick skin. 
you're always gonna need thick skin. Never take anything personal. The moment you take it personal, the moment you get into someone else's frame, you lose. And what I mean by frame is, you say you're talking to your friend. Let's say I'm talking to my invisible friend here, <coughs> Wilson, right? Wilson the volleyball from Tom Hanks movie. Yo, Wilson, I, I like playing uh, card games. Card games are so fun, right? We're just talking about cards. Someone jumps in and says, oh, I like swimming in the ocean. Let's talk about the ocean. And they try to control the frame. You maintain your frame by, I'm still talking about cards. I'm still doing what I'm doing. You stay engaged in that. The person trying to control the frame, jump in, is eventually going to dissipate. You got to be on your own vibration, your own frequency, your own world. You don't let anybody control your world. You are the master of your own world. Now, let's say in this situation, I got mad. And I just went up to him and went, boom, clocked him, right? Sure, it's satisfying. I threw a punch at him. But really, he won. He got the satisfaction because he got a reaction out of me. A hater, a troll wants one thing from you, attention, a reaction, the most valuable currency, attention. The moment you give them that, guess what? They won, they got what they wanted. So when someone comes at you, just know they're hating, they're trolling, they want attention. Don't let your emotions take over. This is why meditating is really good. When you meditate, you breathe in and breathe out and realize, oh, I'm just a human breathing, I'm in this machine and everything around me is just things around me. You realize that, and in that situation, step back. Now, I'm not a perfect meditating person. I'm just saying meditating would help with that if you can't control yourself and step back out of any situation. But that's it. How do you deal with a hater? Ignore them. Don't give them any attention. Don't respond to them. And if you have to, then obviously in real life, defend yourself in a fight. Or on the internet, they keep harassing you, block them. Long story short, disregard haters, acquire success.